Hi guys, Cigar Jockey back. Uh, I'm going to do a quickie review of a cigar I've never tried before, and I'm probably going to botch the name all up. It's the Estilio Cubano, and it is the Robusto Extra, I believe. And as you can see, hopefully you can see from the lighting here, it's got a nice pigtail cap there. Got a nice dark Maduro wrapper. That's the pigtail cap. There you go. Don't know if you can tell if you could see the uh, filler on that. Sorry. Um, there we go. You can see it's got a really dark mixture there of Lajero blended in. <clears throat> and I don't have much information on the cigar itself, other than I know it's a Maduro wrapper. It is a Nicaraguan binder. The filler is Honduran, Nicaraguan, and from Costa Rica. And I don't know if you can see it back here, but it's got a beautiful blend of dark and uh, medium dark uh, Lajero blended in. Um, construction, just rock solid. Very nice construction all the way through. On this one, I first took it out of the cellophane. It had a nice, strong barnyard scent, also combined with uh, dark chocolate. And basically the uh, same also. So, other than that, I really don't know much about uh, who makes it or anything like that. It just happened to be winding up in my humidor from uh, some some uh, event I was at and just grabbed it out and wanted to do a review of it. So, I'm going to uh, cut it up and see what we do. Uh, cedar and dark chocolate on the um, prelay trough. So let's see how we do. And it went out on me. Technical difficulties. I'll be right back. So, just got it lit up. Sorry about that. Didn't know I was out of fuel. Got a lighter a little better there. Right off the bat, it's very full-bodied. A lot of cedar, a lot of dark chocolate, a strong amount of espresso. A lot of black pepper spice in the back of the palate. Yep, still the same. A good, uh, nice, powerful smoke right now. Nice and full bodied. A nice velvety finish with um, still a lot of like espresso. And uh, cocoa also, almost like ordering, say, like a, a mocha at um, Starbucks. So what I'm going to do with this Estilio Cubano, sorry guys, is I'm going to smoke it down a little bit more and see how it does. Hey guys, I'm back, and I moved the uh, iPad around, so hopefully you get some better lighting than me backed up against the wall over there. I'm uh, still working on the Estilio Cubano here. And the uh, strength has toned down a little bit, but I'd say it is definitely a... Um, full-bodied cigar. But I find, though, that it has a lot of creaminess to it now that it's gone in about a half-inch mark there. It's got a good creamy base with cocoa, leather, coffee, espresso. Um, the draw-wise, it... Uh, has a slight resistance which is really nice for like this cigar it works out really well you can tell it's been rolled really nice so let me see there hopefully the lights a little bit better and not so much sorry guys so let's try a retro hail and see how it does yeah you get um good amount of white pepper spice and it brings more of the wood also to the finish. Oh, also if you're wondering, beer hop. 
that's what it is just happened to throw this shirt on um, so what I'm going to do is uh, smoke this down a little bit more and see how it does hi right, guys back and probably gotten into you know about an inch or so on this uh, Estilo Cabano uh, sorry about the light trying to work with what I got here um, the uh, strength has toned down to I would say a medium plus body that really is nowhere where it started out as but it's still a really great stick it, um, it's become creamy as I said earlier but the thing also is it has a lot of like cocoa and a nice natural sweetness which is blended in there and it works really well with this blend yeah just really smooth right now a really smooth medium bodied cigar with cocoa leather and uh, we'll leave it at that right now and uh, see how it goes farther on. I just want to do a quick cut in and at the risk of hopefully not dropping this on my uh, keyboard hopefully you can see it's got a nice burn there with a good solid ash. I don't know, the lighting is just terrible right now. I'm probably going to have to move the iPad but you can see right there and I'm probably going to ash in a minute just so I don't drop it everywhere but uh, just burning along great and See in a bit. Oh, I'm at the halfway point now. This is Stelio Cubano uh, Robusto Extra or whatever it's called. I forgot. I'm sorry. Gone. Um, again, very nice cigar. Medium plus bodied is where it is right now. Very rich. Very creamy. Very dense. I mean, it just coats the palate. First thing you get is cocoa, leather, um, espresso, same pretty much from start to where it is right now, but really nicely blended. Um, there's not much more I can say other than I'm really enjoying this. Um, it's got a nice, I want to say almost chewy finish to it. Um, other than that, I'm going to let it uh, smoke down more and uh, see how we do. Oh, about a quarter left of the Estilio Cubano here and uh, doing really well. Finding that the strength is starting to pick back up again and, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, getting a little bit more of uh, something that crept in also and I'm not sure it's pronounced it, I think it's anise, anise, that like black licorice flavor has kind of crept in also into the blend. Yeah, it um, has something else that kind of snuck in also into it as I've gotten to this waypoint, which is bringing it up a little bit more flavor-wise. And it kind of seems like that, that an anise, anise, however it's pronounced, I'm sorry. But, yeah. Yeah, it's crept up in strength has the leather, the cedar, the cocoa, all the other stuff that's gone from start to finish so far. I'm getting tore up by bugs. I'm sorry. I'm scratching everywhere. I need to invest in a can of off out here. So, I'm going to let it burn down a little bit more, and I'm unfortunately running out of daylight here. So I'm seeing if I can finish this before I run out of light. Other than that, so far, just a really, really good cigar. Winding down now on the Sestilio Cabano, and... Wow, just a really good stick. I mean, if you can find this somewhere, I would highly suggest picking up one just to try it. I mean, I'm I'm really glad, and I have one more in the humidor, and I'm probably going to search these out, because I have no idea what the price is on these, the price point or anything. But at this point now, it's really picked up in strength, just like when I've lit it. It's gone back to being a full-bodied stick, and it's almost like the, the flavor strength is like drinking just a straight espresso. The espresso leather, it still has that natural sweetness at the uh, end of it. Um, all in all, just a really good cigar. Um, probably just going to cut out now saying uh, thanks a lot for watching. Sorry about the lighting again. 
Um, and that's it. Um, my next thing I want to say is also in a few days is going to be my birthday. So I want to pull out something. I'm going to try to find something in my humidor which is uh, extra special and uh, just do a review on that. Other than that, this is a Cigar Jockey saying uh, thanks for watching.